welcome to the first and what's hopefully going to be a series of videos called Wednesday Night Catch Up. The idea is I do a short video on a particular subject. I've asked people to send me requests what they'd like us to do. It could be machine and welding, just talking about something. And I had quite a few requests, uh, shortening drills, how I set tools on the centre height. And one that's come up twice is how do I pick up a thread on the lathe. If you've been cutting a thread and you lose the thread or you break a tool and you've got to try and pick the thread up again to carry on screw cutting it, so I'm going to go ensure that. Uh, tonight when I come from work we had a barbecue, so I'm going to assure a little bit of that. It's going to be nothing exceptional, just a little bit of a catch up to show what I've been doing through the week. And like I say, if there's something you'd like me to show, all you're going to do is leave something in the comment box. So without further ado, we'll have a look at the lathe and see if we can sort this mess out. I've got a job set up in the lathe, a piece of piece of nylon, or a piece of plastic, it's some of the steps in it because plastic is a lot cheaper than bronze. Don't well, imagine that was a bit of expensive bronze, and we're busy screw cutting this from the tool snaps. And you inadvertently disengaged the lead screw, it's in peel of thread, and you can't go back to it. So we'll start screw cutting and show you exactly what's going to happen. Right, it's happily screw cutting, and then all of a sudden, the tool snaps. So I've stopped the lathe, I just think here's the half nut, so now we've got no idea where the thread is, how we're going to give you engage it, how we're going to pick the thread up. I'm going to start the lathe up and I'm going to engage the half nuts. So the lathe's running, that's the half nut engaged. Right, I'm going to stop the lathe by disengaging the clutch. So if I wind the tool in there, you can see it's not going to hit the centre of the thread to the rear of the thread. So we need to move the tool forward so the gear just correctly in the thread. To do that, we use a combination of the compound slide and the cross slide. So if I turn the compound slide like that and turn that in and keep moving it until we get the tool right smack bang in the middle of the thread. Which is getting pretty in the other. You've got to make sure you've had the lathe running so you know all the backlash. All the lathe have backlash, especially screw cutting, screw cutting gear trains has backlash and all the gear train has backlash in the field nuts. But that looks like it's not too far away, so we'll start the lathe up. Start it again. It wants to come back a little bit and in a little bit. It's not looking too bad. Right, so we'll pull it in and that's actually cutting where it's supposed to cut. So we first the layers. Back to where it was. I can't stop it. I want to actually move forward very, very slightly. It's cutting on the back of the tool. Right now it's cutting on the full tool. So successfully managed to pick the thread up. Handy thing to be able to do. You don't want to do it, but it's nice to be able to do it. This way of having the cut makes things a lot simpler. Taking the cross slide and the compound slide to get it to fit in the hole nicely like that. I want a barbecue, darling. Yes, darling, you want a barbecue. You're getting prepared, yes? No, I'm not getting prepared. You're getting worried I've got a knife. Mushrooms. Onions, mushrooms, salad, a nice bread bun. I hope you found that little video clip interesting. Um, like I say, if you want to do something specific, just leave something in the comment box. If I've got the equipment and I've got the knowledge, I'll certainly show you my way of doing things. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please don't forget subscribe to my channel. See you next time.